what we are seeing nowadays is more and more patients coming with asthma and asthma which is becoming at times more common in terms of acute attacks or difficult to control. And this is possibly related to environmental factors because of air pollution and other environmental factors people are having more exposure to allergens, to irritants and this is leading to more attacks of asthma and asthmatic control is becoming more and more challenging. So I'm Dr. Randeep Gureria, I'm Chairman of Internal Medicine, Respiratory and Steep Medicine at Medanta, the Medicity Gurgaon and we'll be talking or in more detail about bronchial asthma. Asthma is a disease which involves the airways of the lungs. So it's an airway disease and in asthma what happens is whenever there's an exposure to an allergen or an irritant, the airways become narrow and if the airways become narrow, you have breathing difficulty, there is a whistling sound from the chest which is known as a wheeze and you can also have cough. So asthma is a disease which affects the airways causing breathlessness, cough and wheezing and it can be seasonal so that whenever there's a change of season or there's increase in irritants like air pollution in the environment, there can be an acute attack of asthma. So asthma is a disease which is at times episodic or more frequently episodic and gets triggered by various factors and it is a disease of the airways. Asthma is a disease which is seen more commonly in the younger age group. So young children and have more prevalence of asthma. Many children grow out of their asthma and they becomes, it becomes relatively lesser prevalent in the older age group. But we also see asthma which sometimes presents at a later age, which is known as late onset asthma. So although it's much more common in the younger age group, it can also happen at a later age and sometimes in adulthood people can present with the first episode of asthma without any history of having asthma during childhood. So like I said, if you want to diagnose asthma, you should have the symptoms of asthma. Symptoms of asthma is that you have episodic breathing difficulty, some people have chest tightness, there is also wheezing from the chest and there is cough which is usually dry. Asthma is sometimes associated with what we call allergic rhinitis. So some people who have asthma will also have running nose, sneezing, features of sinusitis, headache, watering of the eyes because it's an allergic disorder. So you can have allergy of the upper airways which could lead to running nose, sneezing, pain in the throat and then you can have what we call a post nasal drip and secretion from the nose can go from the back of the nose into your throat and into the chest leading to cough, wheezing and chest tightness uh, which are the classical symptoms of asthma. So once you have these symptoms then we perform certain tests. One test we perform is a lung function test where you have to blow into a machine and we try and see what is the lung capacity and are your airways narrowed so that less air is able to flow out from the narrowed airways and also whether this improves when we give you some medication and this helps in making a definite diagnosis of asthma. We also do a few blood tests from the allergy point of view to see whether you have an allergic tendency and that is what is driving your asthma. That helps us both in the diagnosis and to some extent also in deciding what treatment could be useful later on when we try and sub-classify asthma into different phenotypes as we call them. Unfortunately, asthma is a disease which is an allergic disorder and although you can control it and most people can live a very healthy and happy and good life, you cannot cure asthma and therefore we need to continue with our treatment and be careful in terms of precautions, in terms of avoiding allergens which can trigger an attack of asthma. So asthma is very well treatable and, cure and controllable but I won't say that it is curable that you take this medicine and you will not have asthma for the rest of your life. So there is a familial tendency as far as asthma is concerned. If you look at asthma, uh, if parents have asthma, there's a chance that the child will also be asthmatic. And some children improve uh, as they grow older, they grow out of their asthma. But yes, asthma does have a genetic tendency because it's an allergic disorder. So the treatment options for asthma are basically drugs which decrease the swelling of the airways which you call inflammation and also open up the airways, dilate the airways and we give drugs which are known as bronchodilators. Now since it is a disease of the airways, the best way to treat asthma is to give a medication which goes directly into your airways and therefore the treatment of asthma is predominantly based on giving inhalers. Now inhalers is basically a drug delivery system. You can give inhalers by a device which you press and that gives a, the drug which comes into the airways. You can use a capsule which you can break and inhale the powder and also you can use a machine by which you can give medicine which is known as a nebulizer. So 
So all of these three are drug delivery systems by which you deliver the drug directly into the airways and once you give the drug into the airways it has two advantages. One is it acts immediately because it goes directly into the airways. If you were to give a tablet it would go into the stomach, get absorbed, reach the blood and then reach the lungs which means it takes a longer time for its onset of action. The second advantage is that the side effects are less because the dose that you have to give is much smaller because you're giving it directly into the lungs. So when a tablet is in milligrams, the dose of the inhaler is in micrograms. So therefore, inhalers are the treatment of choice, but you have different inhalers, bronchodilators, and at times you also give inhaled steroids to decrease the inflammation of the airways. Sometimes you give oral drugs, which are the anti-allergic drugs, because like I said, there's also an allergic manifestation as far as asthma is concerned.